Hi friends, I'm Mrs. 3D. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. Today, we have the pleasure of reading the book, Superheroes Are Everywhere by Kamala Harris. What an exciting time. We have our first female and woman of color vice president. Let's learn about the people who helped influence her life. Make sure you grab your copy if you have it. Get ready to read with me in three, two, one. Superheroes are everywhere. Written by Kamala Harris. Illustrated by McCall Renee Rowe. Heroes make you feel special. It didn't take too long to find one. I noticed my mom had a magic touch. Her hugs made me feel warm, safe, and even strong. She knew I loved good food, so she taught me her secret recipes and we'd create huge, delicious meals together for our friends and family. I even cooked some of the dishes all by myself. See Kamala, my mom would say, you can do anything if you put your heart in it and try hard, anything in the world. My mom was a superhero because she made me feel special. She believed in me, and that helped me believe I could do anything. Who makes you feel special? Heroes are people you can count on. My sister, Maya, and I did everything together. Ballet class, piano lessons, bike riding, and board games. I knew that if I ever needed her, she'd be there. One half of our dynamic duo. When we felt sad, my mom would throw us an unbirthday party so we'd feel better. Together, we'd eat unbirthday cake, open unbirthday presents, and dance around the living room. Maya was always by my side. My sister was a superhero because she was someone I could count on. Who can you count on? Heroes make you feel brave. I kept searching for superheroes in other parts of my family. My dad wanted me to be fearless. Whenever we were at the park, he let go of my hand and call out, Run Kamala, run! And I'd run as far as I could for as long as I could. My dad was a superhero because he made me feel brave. Who makes you feel brave? Heroes stand up for what's right. My grandmother was one of the smartest people I've ever met. And she used her smarts and her voice to speak out for women who were being hurt and to teach them how to stay healthy. My grandfather used his voice to make India a free country. All of my grandparents in India and in Jamaica were superheroes for standing up for what's right. Who stands up for what's right in your life? Heroes are best friends. My best friends and I cared about each other. When I was in kindergarten, I told a boy to stop teasing one of my best friends. And another time, that best friend helped me when I fell on the playground. We all wanted to feel safe at school. My best friends were superheroes because they made one another feel safe. Who are your best friends? Heroes are teachers. I loved my first grade teacher, Mrs. Wilson. She taught us about plants and flowers, sang songs with us from cultures around the world, and revealed how tadpoles turned into frogs. Teachers, like Mrs. Wilson, are superheroes because they show us the whole wild world and help us chase our dreams. Who are your favorite teachers? Heroes are kind. When I looked, I found a superhero right down my street. Mrs. Shelton was our family friend and was like a second mom to me. She watched Maya and me while our mom was at work. We gobbled up her homemade biscuits, peach cobbler, and gumbo for special occasions and piled into her car on Sundays for church. 
Mrs. Shelton treated everyone with love and respect. Her kindness made her a superhero to me. Who is kind to you? Heroes explore with you. Aunt Lenore and I chased fireflies and caught them in jars. Uncle Sherman taught me to play chess. Aunt Mary and I read book after book together. And Uncle Freddie took me to museums where we'd see dazzling artwork. My aunts and uncles, my mom's friends who were part of our family, helped me explore my world. And that made them superheroes. Who helps you explore? Heroes work hard. Even as I got older, I kept searching for superheroes. When it was time for me to go to college, I was excited to go where my Aunt Chris went to study, at Howard University. My grandmother hadn't had a chance to go to college, but she encouraged her kids, my mom and my aunts and uncle, to study hard and they did. My mom became a scientist. My uncle Balu is an economist. My aunt Sarala is a doctor. And my aunt Chini works with computers. They were superheroes because they showed me that by working hard, I could be whatever I wanted to be when I grew up. Who do you know who works hard? Heroes protect people. After college, I wanted to become a lawyer like some of the people I looked up to. Thurgood Marshall, Constance Baker Motley, and Charles Hamilton Houston. They fought in court because they knew that people aren't always treated equally, but should be. Like them, I wanted to make sure that the law would protect everyone. These lawyers were superheroes because they protected people by using the power of words and ideas. Who protects you? Heroes make a difference together. Once I became a lawyer and then a senator, I worked with all sorts of people to help kids. Even better, I got to know amazing kids who want to make the world a better place. And you know what I learned? Heroes are you. Superheroes are everywhere you look, even inside you. Are you kind, brave, and curious? Are you a best friend? Do you share? Do you treat people fairly? Do you lend a hand when other people need help? You're a hero by being the very best you. Now that's pretty super. Superheroes really are everywhere, and most times you'll find them even without looking. I really hope you enjoyed today's book. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you'll be notified about our latest book. I really hope you'll join me again really soon. Until next time, bye!